Tomorrow is the feast of the presentation of the Lord. And so we do have a reading from the letter to the Hebrews, but it is not following the order that we are following. And so today we ended chapter 11, and tomorrow we would have started chapter 12. On Wednesday, we read from chapter 12, verse 4. So I thought maybe I might fill in what we're going to miss from the letter to the Hebrews. Chapter 11 has been uh, words of encouragement going back through uh, the Old Testament, through Jewish history, and, and showing how uh, people were faithful and that they were uh, made righteous. And that we, we come up to the end of that, the end of chapter 11, and chapter 12 begins, therefore, so everything that we have been encouraged by in chapter 11, we're going to move from there. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, in Greek, the word witness is martyrion, or where we get the word for martyr. So we are surrounded by this great cloud of, of martyrs, people who have died for their faith, people who have been persecuted, or imprisoned, and they surround us now, the, the saints in heaven. Therefore, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us. So they've been made pure by refusing to sin and to turn away, and we are encouraged to rid ourselves of this, this heavy burden, this debt of death to sin that clings to us and persevere in running the race that lies before us. So again, uh, this is a word of encouragement. We need to persevere. We need to keep going. So we are persevering while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the leader and perfecter of faith. So Jesus comes as one of us so that he can be a model for us, so that he can lead us in this race. But he doesn't simply lead us. He also perfects our faith. So the more we walk with Jesus, the more we continue to, to be united with him, especially in a sacred heart, our faith is being perfected. And then the author to the letter of Hebrews says, for the sake of the joy that lay before him, again, here he's going to model for us, he is our leader, for the sake of the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus has given us an example, he's opened the gates of heaven, and we need to follow him so that we can endure whatever crosses we have. And during this pandemic, there are a lot so that we might go with him to heaven. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners. We can experience this whenever we are faithful to gospel values, whenever we are following authentic Catholic Church teaching, we will be persecuted. So consider how he endured such opposition from sinners in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. Sometimes when we struggle for long periods of time, we grow weary. Oftentimes when we struggle against sin, trying to use our own strength, we are made weary. It is only in Jesus that our faith can be made perfect. It is only by his grace that we can do these things. And then verse 4, which is actually the first verse for Saturday. In your struggle against sin, 
you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. In other words, brothers and sisters, we need to be firm, not in our own human strength, but in God's grace. We need to remain firm and faithful. Amen.